In the video today, I'm going to show you how to add a post widget to the page and connect the read more button to open a dynamic pop-up that shows a quick view of the post directly in the page without leaving the page. Without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. To get started, I'm going to search for a post widget inside of the widget pane and drag and drop that to my Elementor canvas. Today in the tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to redirect the read more link to open a dynamic pop-up with a quick view of the contents of the post. This can work with posts, with products, and whatever you need. So we're just going to show one use case, but take in mind that it can work with any post widget and any products widget. The first step is going to be to set our query inside of our post widget over here. And I'm going to use a custom post type, but you can use a regular post type that depends on your use case. Just in my website, I have all of these cocktails. And what I want to do is open a quick view once you click the read more. Let's set our grid to show only six items at a time so we don't have too much scrolling over here. And we can jump in to the interesting part, which is actually telling this button over here that instead of opening a post link and redirecting to a new page, we want to stay on this page and open a dynamic pop-up. Under here, it's going to say this option works with dynamic post pop-up widget. Please put the widget to the page. So. Let's go into the widget pane and search for dynamic post pop-up. Drag and drop that under our post widget. And the first setting over here is choose template. Now in my use case, I haven't created the template yet because I wanted to show you guys step-by-step step how to do this. Let's jump into the dashboard. And over here, I'm going to go into templates, theme builder, which requires, of course, a license with Elementor Pro. You're not going to have this option if you don't have Elementor Pro. Over here, we're going to click single post and click the plus or single product and click the plus. So that depends on your use case if you're opening a pop-up to show a post or if you're opening a pop-up to show a product. Those are two separate use cases. Just remember that, that if you're using this for WooCommerce, you're going to want to choose the option for single product. Over here, Elementor suggests all sorts of predefined templates. In our use case, we're not going to use those. So I'm going to click close and we can start designing the layout of our pop-up over here with all the different elements. Now, I'm going to keep this pretty simple, uh, but take in mind that you can put anything that you want inside. So I'm just going to add a featured image. And the first thing that you're going to notice once it adds the featured image, you'll notice that the featured image that's bringing right now is not related to cocktails. That's just the last post that I've added to my website. Now, if you want to control the data over here, inside of the settings down here in preview settings, we can select whatever ever custom post type that we have. And we can select also one of these over here. So for example, I'm going to search for TIPP and that's going to bring that a specific item and I'm going to click apply and preview and that's just going to refresh the data over here to make sure that whatever we're designing, we're going to see the real data that's going to show at the end inside of our uh, design. So that's what we have over here. I'm going to make this a lot smaller by going into the section with changing the width to 400 pixels because it's just going to be a small pop-up, not a full page pop-up. And this image over here, we can change the width to 100%. We can start playing around with the height and object fit to cover just so that fits a little bit nicer inside of the image over here, the placeholder. Let's add a little bit more uh, elements. So I'm just going to add the post title over here and I'm going to jump into style, change that to black, jump back into the widgets pane. The next piece of data that I'm going to add is the post content. So let's just drag and drop that over here. And at the end, what I want to do is add a link. 
So whenever uh, people click on that, that's going to jump to the full page. So let's change the button text to learn more. And over here, the link is going to be a dynamic tag. Inside of the dynamic tag, I'm going to select a post URL. So that's just kind of showing a couple of use cases. Now, before I'm going to save this, jump into the settings and we need to give this a name. Now, we need to give it the general name. So it's going to be cocktails pop up new. And I'm just going to copy that name so it's going to be easier later on. We don't need to add any conditions, just save and close and we're going to save this. Now the next step is also saving this page over here. And once the page saves, we can refresh the page and I'm going to search for that template inside of the dynamic pop-up widget inside where it says select template. Let's scroll down the page to the dynamic pop-up widget, click on that and over here in choose template, I'm going to search for the pop-up that we've just created. Once I selected the pop-up, I'm just going to save this and this is generally already working. So let's preview the page to view it actually in live mode and click on any one of these. And once we click on it, it's going to retrieve the data and it's going to show it inside of the quick view inside of a pop-up that's loading dynamically and populating all of the data inside over here. So you can see that this is pretty nice. You have also navigation arrows, you have a close button. And now the next step is starting to design, right? Because that's not looking too good. So over here to design this, we need to jump into debug and click over here, show pop-up. What that's going to do is it's going to show us the pop-up on the page. Now, by default, it's just showing us some random stuff over here, and that's not what we want. We want to show the specific item. So over here, I'm going to search for one of these items. So let's say the one I see in the background over here, rattlesnake. And now it's loading the correct, correct template and the correct data for me to design. Now, let's jump back into general. And I'm going to play around with the settings over here just to move that to the beginning over here. And in a horizontal line, I'm going to move it to the end. What I'm going to do is make a full height pop up that's going to be at the end of the page. So over here inside of style, I can go into overlay padding because you can see there's a little bit of padding over here. I'm going to change that to zero. And inside of pop-up, we have an option for width and for height. I don't know if you remember earlier, but the section we set it to 400 width. So also over here, I'm going to set it to 400 width just so it's going to be the same as we have in our single uh, post over here. That's what I suggest you do just to get the consistency of the design in both places. So we set up the width. Now we need to set up the height. So over here, instead of in pixels, I'm going to change that to VH, which is sort of like saying percentage. And it's going to add that nicely over here. And you can continue on and on designing all sorts of aspects over here. But just as an example, let's jump into the close button. And let's say I want to, to be horizontally snapped to the right part because that's looking kind of weird when it was over here. And we can make it a little bit bigger. So let's say 50 pixels. We can make it not rounded at all. So over here in radius, I'm going to change that to zero. And you can go on and on designing this. I mean, I don't want to take too much time explaining this because you guys are probably awesome at doing this. But let's just change that to white, maybe this to black and we can continue designing this. Now about the arrows, you can also decide where you want to place them on the sides, on the arrows on the bottom. But if you don't want them to show at all, you could actually over here just close these and you're not going to have arrows. That means that depends on your use case and whatever you want to do. 
or how you want your website to behave. So I'm going to click update again, once again, just so we can finalize testing this and see how it works in real time. Let's jump back into our demo over here. I'm going to scroll down to one of my cocktails, let's say this one that we haven't opened up earlier, and it's going to load a quick view of that cocktail inside of the page without leaving the page. Awesome stuff. So if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. And I'm going to see you in the next video.